Next one here is um, from Patrick. Hey, uh, first, I'm new to Fusion, um, and I watched a lot of your last lives very quickly. Learned. Perfect. Thank you, Pat. Uh, quick question. Is there a way to create a quarter section right angle cutaway of an assembly without having to cut uh, the parts within the assembly? Um, so, uh, just to show here, I thought, let's go in here and let's go and open up an assembly. Okay, so when we have an assembly, like this mold I, I did a while back, I did a video on this whole mold, you can find it, and it, it works, it opens up, stuff like that. Now, back to Pat's question. So is there any way to do a quarter section view? So we have the different sections uh, analysis in here where we can cut through in here, and you can actually choose custom hatching for uh, custom sections, in colors, you can play around with uh, with the different angles and do different things. Um, so you can do section views in here, and it looks pretty good. Now, Pat's question, as I'm getting further in this email, is um, I want to do a quarter section of it that I can then fully render an isometric view of it. So not only have something that looks that looks like this on the screen, but actually also be able to do like a quarter section of it and then render that out. So go into the uh, render environment and make it photorealistic. Um, no, yes, no. I'll say no, Pat, there's not, but <laughs> there's always a but. You might want to consider doing this in the new derived function, because what you can actually do, if you go in here and say derived, is you could actually um, create, um, oh, hang on, just because I did all kinds of stupid stuff to this, I don't wanna save it. Um, what I would do is, I would do what you suggested, I'm gonna do this just in a second. Um, but I would go in and use the new derive function. What the new derive function will let us do is that the new derive function will let us select um, the whole design here, right? So we can let us select the whole thing and create a new derived file from that. So now I am copying everything over to a new design. Let's turn the joints off for a second. So this is a brand new file. And if I create a section view on this one right now, so let me open a sketch up here and let's do a, just cut this rectangle out like you have already kind of experienced, I'm sure. Let's do a queue, select all the things and let's just cut down. Oh, I wanna get those water lines that look pretty cool. There, hit OK. Um, doing a cut like this, right? Like a, a section view like this um, that you can now you can now render out. But now you can save this as your your render out image um, and not mess around with this file. Though that if this file updates, if you change some water lines, this derived that you have will actually update with it. So yes and no, no, there's not a, a certain way because you will actually want to go in here now and turn this into like a beautiful render. Um, but that derive function will make sure you're not messing with your original file um, and making sure that you're just taking a copy from it and, and, and work for that and you're not messing, messing with this. Hope, 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 hope that was useful to you, Pat.